Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In this quick tutorial for Reaper, we're going to be taking a look at how you can apply effects to individual takes or individual elements of your audio. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. I'm sure you're used to applying effects to individual tracks, but we can also do that and apply it to individual takes. So, for example, if we want to apply it to an entire track, we'd hit the effects button on the particular track we want and apply the effect that we want from there. So we can easily apply an instance of uh, Slick EQ. But that now will make an adjustment to the entire track. So if we take an example where I've got these tracks split in half, we'll listen to it now with the EQ changed. I'm not bother with what I do. So when the two tracks line up to each other, there's no difference because the effect has been applied to the entire track. Now, this isn't always what you'd want. Obviously, there's a workaround for this. You could quite easily take the piece of audio you want in this example, maybe the beginning of the track, put that on its own separate track, apply the effect to that, and then you'd have it on just this track while not affecting the first track. But that's not ideal. So what we can do is we can apply the effect directly to any individual portion of our track itself. So let's just slice this up a second. Let's just turn that off. Uh, we'll come over to the beginning. I'll slice the track by hitting the S key on the keyboard. So we now have three individual pieces for this track. So all I need to do is bring up my effects browser, find the effect that I'm looking for, and then I can just simply drag that onto any given portion of audio on this track and that effect now has been applied just to that section so if I close that down you can see if we take a look at the track you can see this now has a green effects button in the corner now this may be different if you've got a different theme installed but you've got a little effects symbol telling you that this particular piece of audio has an effect on it so I can do the same if I drag up the compressor and drop that to the second one you can see we now have a second effects button and I can simply double click on the effect button. Sorry, single click. And that will bring up the effect itself. So I can then make adjustments to it as I normally would. Close that down. Click on the first one. And as you can see now, I can quite easily make adjustments to this. And we'll just make some slight adjustments. So if we listen to that now, we should notice that when we jump from the first portion of audio to the second portion of audio then the third portion of audio the different effects we've applied to it will be applied to each individual piece and not the track as a whole so while they're not massively evident you can still hear the difference there so that's how easy it is to add effects to the track to remove them it is simply a case of you can click on the track and do exactly the same as you normally would, or click on the effect symbol for the track, remove, and that's now gone. So you can see the little effect symbol for the first portion of audio is gone, while the second still has its effects intact, and the third has nothing applied to it. Well, I hope you found this quick tip useful. I hope it's something you can use in your own projects. If you have found it useful, please give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content added to the channel every single Friday. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this or any of the other videos on our channel, please pop those in the comment section below. If you want exclusive content, pop over to reapertv.co.uk where you can access that exclusive content. And until next time, happy mixing.